So now, after almost 100 years, we've come to realize that what we thought would be a success story has always yeah. been and always will be a love story. From the 28,000 dedicated professionals of the PGA of America to the 27 million men, women, and children who share the passion that is our business. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm actually honored and very humbled to be in front of all you people here tonight, uh, the award winners, past presidents, uh, past Hall of Fame members as well. So uh, I, I can't really describe in, in any good fashion or form how humbled I am to be up here. So thank you very much for allowing me to do this. In the interest of time, I will not provide any background on any of the award recipients tonight except for our scholarship winners uh, this evening. I'd ask you to read in the programs that you've all been provided. Uh, I think the information is very thorough and it's, it's a lot easier than listening to me. So, thank you to our great sponsors, Hit Contracting and Lindsay Automotive, for our MAPGA Junior Tour. It has grown over the last 19 years to be one of the finest in the country. Yeah, Michael! One of the benefits for our Junior Tour members is that they're eligible to apply for the Tony Marlowe Scholarships. Named for our 2002 Hall of Fame inductee, these two four-year scholarships are available due to the generous funding from Wally and Tina Uline. Tina is the daughter of Tony and Rosemary Marlowe. The evaluation criteria consisted of academic performance, extracurricular activities, and on-course etiquette, and a submitted essay. As always, the selection process was extremely competitive, in memory of Tony Marlowe, the Middle Atlantic PGA is proud to award these scholarships this year to two unbelievably outstanding junior golfers. We start out with Jacqueline Cherry. Jacqueline Cherry of Ellicott City, Maryland, in her last semester of school at Howard County High School, where she ex has excelled in classes like AP Calculus, Chemistry, and English over the past four years. She has earned a GPA of 4.74. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> On top of that, Jacqueline has been a dominant force for both her high school golf team and as an individual throughout the state of Maryland. Like in golf, Jacqueline applies her hard work and dedication towards her education. Once she earns her undergraduate degree, she plans on applying to medical school to reach her goal of becoming a doctor. Jacqueline's here, joined by her mother and her stepfather. Please stand and be recognized, Jacqueline. to say this either. I want to start talking about David Stevens, but before I do, um, David and Jacqueline actually went to preschool together. <laughs> so this is a really cool story. <laughs> David Stevens is a high school senior, also from Ellicott City, Maryland, who attends Marriott Ridge High School. David is an honor roll student focusing on math and physics. He is a national <clears throat> merit scholar and was recently named professional scholar finalist. He's been a four-year member of the MAPJ Junior Tour and won the 2017 Turf Valley Classic Tournament and has many top ten finishes. David was a four-year varsity letter winner in the golf team and captain the team in 2017, leading him to their sixth straight Maryland High School State Championship. He also won the Maryland State Boys Individual Championship in 2017 and was named Howard County's Boys High School Golfer of the Year. The last three years, David has been a volunteer with the Salute Military Golf Association, based in Olney. He assists with adaptive golf clinics for wounded servicemen and women, and is inspired by their courage and their journey recovery through golf. David plans to study both, both astrophysics and music in college as a double major. <laughs> Stand to be recognized, David. We 
congratulations to both of you. Um, we always have a we have a great time giving away these junior these junior scholarships, and I, you can just see how how great it is and how how unbelievably spectacular these these students are. Uh, this brings our grand total for the Tony Marlowe Scholarships awarded since 1998 to $296,000. Thank you. Section awards were presented at our annual spring meeting held on Monday in Fredericksburg. And tonight we would like to introduce these, <coughs> these amateurs and PGA professionals to you to further recognize their service to the PGA, to golf, and to their community. Before I begin the awards, I would like to thank our section awards committee under the leadership of past president John Batten. John, if you can stand up for a second. job it's a very hard thing to do and I appreciate all the hard work that everybody puts into this uh, and John thank you for your leadership once again I'd like to read I'd like you to I'd ask you to read their bios as well as the specifics that are described in the award program award winners please introduce any family members that might be here with you tonight as you come up to get your award we're going to start off by recognizing our 2017 players of the year our Men's Omega Player of the Year and the APA Player of the Year was Brian Zilstra of the Federal Club. <laughs> we believe he's the first associate to ever win this title. He won quite a few events this year, notably the National PGA Assistant Professional Championship and the Delta Dental State Open of Virginia. Ryan, come on up. Thank you. 
Good evening, fellow PGA professionals, guests, and loved ones. A word that probably describes my year is grateful. I'm grateful that the Middle Atlantic PGA conducts competitive tournaments throughout the season, gives us wonderful educational opportunities, and puts on a fabulous banquet like this. Also, I know I'm not alone when expressing my excitement about the news announced a couple weeks ago from the PGA of America. The creation of the Women's PGA Cup means that the PGA of America understands the importance of creating opportunities to showcase the best female PGA professionals around the world. This will not only encourage more women to join the industry, but also empower our young girls to play the game, which we all know is vital for the future of our game. I will try my very best to qualify for Team USA. I am grateful for Baltimore Country Club, our members, and our team, which includes Director of Golf, Greg Jones, Head Pro, Tim Bolton, Director of Instruction, Pat Coiner, and Assistant of the Year, Mike Wood. I feel like one lucky girl that I get to teach, play, and grow this amazing game for a living. I'm grateful for my family, friends, and my boyfriend, Ryan, who has been my rock for the last three years. Through the ups and downs, on and off the golf course, Ryan always steadies the ship and offers unconditional love and support. Last but not least, I'm grateful that my Philadelphia Eagles finally won the Super Bowl. It, it truly was an epic year. Congratulations to all the award winners. Thank you and I look forward to another great year in the industry. Hey Josh, I didn't have to make one of your pictures. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> and John. <laughs> That's awesome. Our Omega Senior Player of the Year was Rick Schuler of Stonehenge Country. Woo! Come on up, Rick. This is Rick's uh, third Senior Player of the Year honor to go along with his five open awards. Congratulations, Rick. <laughs> this award at Washington Golf Country Club. I have the pleasure of teaching here part-time uh, the golf schools that Frank and Rob Ferguson put together and they have me as a guest instructor. And this club is second to one. Uh, and the industry struggles a little bit. This place has a six-year waiting list. It's very <laughs> and Dr. Ryder, you were my partner in the pro net. I shot 63 and you cut me four shots. And it's funny, Frank later the next day he was saying he was signing autographs around the club and that was the golf chair. It's fantastic. But uh, excuse me, I need to put some glasses on. I am a senior. <laughs> Fred, it's an honor that you took the time to fly here to come see you receive this award. I really appreciate it. We go late night. <laughs> uh, I'm humbled to have earned this award because of all the talented players we have in our section as evidenced by Joanna and Ryan. Congratulations to you. Special thanks to the MAPGA staff for once again proving why I think we have the best section in the country. John Gould, through your guidance, you and your staff continue to set the bar for the other sections in the country. Thanks so much. The MAPGA is family. And Fred, we are also proud to say you are from our section and part of our family. Yeah. We're all... <laughs> Sorry, I get a little We're all here tonight because of a game, the game of golf. Golf is such a mirror to life, a roller coaster ride that exhilarates and terrifies us along the way. This game has consumed me for 40 years in an effort to be the best player I can be, as well as the best PGA professional I can be. I owe so much of my life to the game. The countless memories of all the long-lasting friendships, many of whom are here tonight. And I'd like to single out Frank and Rob Ferguson. Oh, Frank and Rob, 
Their wives are named Shelley. <laughs> I got a little seating with the arrangement crowd today, which is kind of fun, but they've become part of my life, and their families are now my families. Um, I really treasure their friendships. Besides the friendships, the joy of coaching eager students, the achievements of tournament successes and failures. All of these life experiences have helped shape me into who I am today, but none more than my beautiful wife, Wendy. We, we met on a blind date at Valhalla Country Club in the front row. She was hot. <laughs> I made the turn at one under par. She's playing with me, and we were tied. I was getting nervous. <laughs> I think she sensed how fragile I was, and she had a little trouble in the bunker and allowed me to win. So, had that been different, I don't think I would have been up here tonight receiving this award. So, I say thank you to the game, my MAPJ family, and all in attendance. Congrats to all the incredibly talented award winners tonight, and especially Fred. I've known Fred since college. I didn't receive a scholarship off of Fred, but I've, I've known him that long when he was coaching at Maryland. So I was extremely thrilled when I saw I was going to be paired with him on the final round of the Senior PJ Championship last year. The night before the final round, I was a bit nervous and a video message popped up on my phone, and it was Fred. He put me at ease and made me laugh. By telling me how I was going to be hitting first from the fairway on every all. <laughs> I hit four fairways that day, but... Fred, we share a great friend in Mark Long. Mark was Fred's caddy for many years, and he wasn't able to be here tonight, but he wanted to send a message to you as only Mark could. Savvy and Gary Player. So I'd like to play it. Yes, I remember playing with Fred Funk for the first time so long ago that I, re I recall he was using those aluminium shafts I was so fond of. Yes, and three things struck me about Mr. Funk. One, uh, he was the only player I've ever played with who's shorter than myself. Yes, I mean in height. Um, and, but I was so impressed. I've never seen a man hit a ball so straight. It was the most amazing thing to behold. Yet uh, the third thing that was impressive to me was I cannot recall playing with another player where I could hear his tee shots land. Yes, it was quite something to behold. Yes. <laughs> There's more. I have won over 135 major championships, and Fred reminds me of myself, yes, because not only am I taller than him, but, well, he's won, I think, 135 of those major Monday and Friday pro am from the white tees in the middle Atlantic section. He reminds me of myself. A great player, no doubt. He's. And then he had to have his best seven. <laughs> Well, you know, I have known Fred Funk for a very long time, and I tell you, he is a little man trying to be a big man, but he has become a great champion. And uh, I'm a very, uh, I like to say, though, you know, I know many people know this. I hit as many fairways as this man, Fred Funk. But uh, they're not always my fairway, but I do hit as many fairways. Thanks so much. Appreciate you, Don. Have a great day. Congratulations, Rick. And congratulations to two, all of our 2017 Players of the Year. <laughs> Moving on to our 2018 award winners. Our first award is the Salesperson of the Year. 
He's an avid supporter of the MAPGA and his PGA professionals and has been for many, many years. Matt Nisley, please come on up. Friendship 
most important, for curing me of the hips and sharing his wealth and knowledge of the game. Once again, I say thank you to the Mid-Atlantic PGA. I'm greatly honored. Bruce, we can't thank you enough for all the, uh, the help and exposure that you, you allow us on your, on, on your behalf. Thank you very much. In the merchandiser category, our Resort Merchandiser of the Year from Turf Valley Resort in Alka City, Maryland, PGA Director of Golf, Nick Spanata. <laughs> Nick is unable to be with us tonight, but congratulations to Nick on his award. Next is our Public Merchandiser of the Year from the Colonial Heritage Golf Club in Williamsburg, Virginia, PGA Head Professional, Aaron Palin. My hair still hasn't come back yet. <laughs> congratulations, Mr. Funk, and congratulations to all the award winners. Before I get moving, I want to congratulate and I want to thank um, a dear friend of ours, um, my wife's best friend from Maine College, Megan, who came in to help us out tonight to sit in front of my wife, so thank you. My career began back in 2001 at Ben New Country Club in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. I worked under longtime head golf professional and three time merchandise of the year, Rich Parker. Rich has been my mentor throughout my entire career, and I can never thank him enough for everything that he has taught me. Attention to detail was always at the forefront of the experience at Ben New. And at a very early stage in my career, Rich installed upon me the importance of a first impression, a lasting moment of truth. This encompasses how you display your goods for sale in your professional shop. Tap it into your artistic ability and vision, creating displays that catch your customer's eye as you stroll through your shop. That's where my passion for merchandising began. This encompasses how you, excuse me, this has been a major team award at Colonial Heritage, and I cannot thank my team enough for their dedication and execution of our mission. We have a simple slogan in our professional shop. You enter as a guest, and you leave as a friend. My team has bought in the concept of creating small but powerful wow moments, and they execute these opportunities and moments with extreme passion. I want to thank my membership and residents for their continued support of our golf operation. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank my family. Specifically, our six-year-old son, Jace, our six-month-old daughter, Kenzie, and my wife, Kristen. Kristen, you've been my rock, my soulmate, the love of my life, and my best friend. I'm so much in love with you. Congratulations again to Mr. Funk and all the award winners. Thank you. Finally, our private merchandiser of the year, Home advantage tonight of Host Club, Boston Golf Club, Club PGA Director of Golf, Jay Dunn. So that's what I look like with glasses on. It's a very big picture. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much. Um, I want to thank the awards committee uh, for their consideration of, for my team for this award and congratulations to all the award winners here tonight uh, who are all very good friends and colleagues and to Mr. Funk, what a special time to have you here to be part of the Hall of Fame. Before I move forward, I do want to thank my club for hosting tonight. Uh, Washington Golf is a very special place. I'm glad that we can be here to experience it. And I want to thank all the team that put together tonight and all the people behind the scenes and everybody that's been filling coffees and putting down dinners. Thank you very much for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously winning this award is quite an honor. However, it's without question a team award. This award represents all the hard work that we have done since our team was formed three years ago. My team's commitment to changing the culture 
at our golf shop at Washington Golf, as well as the golf experience, has been very fun to watch. None of this could happen without them. Uh, luckily, a lot of my team are here tonight. Um, you've heard the names Frank and Rob Ferguson, they're rock stars by now, by Rick, but thank you to them for their history and knowledge. And to Paul Jones for the energy you bring. <laughs> Whatever you want to classify in its energy, so thank you for that. And, uh, and to Roger Welch for your continued support. Um, I need to say a special thank you to two individuals. One could not be here tonight. He's watching his, his uh, might play hockey in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So he's a hockey coach as well. But Rick Hilbrick, yeah. as well as Bonnie, yeah. as, well as, as well as Bonnie Hamilton, uh, our merchandiser, the, yeah, our merch mama, as we call her, for uh, really keeping all the men in line. But truly their vision and creating member loyalty, loyalty to our golf shop has been really impressive. Their creativity and restlessness to think outside the box has actually made me a better merchandiser. You know, Washington Golf and Country Club uh, members are known for their love of golf and probably more socializing than golf. <laughs> but luckily they've allowed us to tap into those two vices to really create and experiment within our retail space. I owe a lot to our members for their support. And Dr. Ryder and Rob Lobin are here tonight as members and from our team, thank you very much for all your continued support. You know, any good golf shop has the support of great vendors as sales representatives. Thanks to the people like the Matt Miskalis of the world who really make our life easier. I have a true, true friendship and partnership within Mary Leahy and Callaway Golf. Uh, Mary, truly, our lunches and coffee breaks over the years have meant so much to me. I can't thank you enough, so thank you for your support. Not a personal note, it's something very special to me. I'm very fortunate to have my parents who flew in from Minnesota tonight. Yay. not much better, sorry, uh, but please know that you've been true role models for me. Your ability to treat people with respect and grace has been my personal and professional bedrock. Dad, thanks for taking me to the golf course as a kid and wanting to hang out with me. You started me on this path. Thank you. Lastly, there's been a lot of spouses that have been thanked tonight, and rightfully so. Truly, um, the spouses in this business is so important. But I need to thank my wife, Michelle. You know, as the CEO of the Dufty family, <laughs> <laughs> um, of our son Mason and our daughter Mia, I couldn't do the job I'd love without your support. I love you very, very much. I wish everybody has a wonderful night tonight, and thank you again. Congratulations, Jay. <laughs> Our assistant professional of the year, he serves as an APA vice president, and he's on the Northern Chapter Board of Directors from Baltimore Country Club. Please come on up, Mike Wood. Humbled and honored to accept this award for, uh, before you this evening. Um, I'd like to thank all the members of the awards committee for their hard work and dedication, and uh, to the MAPGA staff who do such a great job of making us look so good. Um, I'd like to s express my sincere gratitude to the countless PGA professionals that have challenged, motivated, and inspired me over the years. Uh, to our team at Baltimore Country Club, uh, this award is for all of us, really. Uh, I wouldn't be here uh, without your continued support, so thank you. Uh, to my mom, thank you for always being there for me. I love you. Uh, to my dad, who unfortunately can't be here tonight, um, 
thank you for introducing me to this great game. Last, I look forward to continue to meet and work alongside so many of our section's talented and dedicated professionals in 2018 and beyond. Thank you. Moving into player development. First is the player development award. This year's award goes to the director of player development at Army Navy Country Club in
I was a little concerned about making up those stairs in these shoes. <laughs> and also after following Liz, because oh my god, you're amazing. <laughs> I didn't pay people enough to. <laughs> Started. I mean, think about how, go back to, to thinking about how you start playing the game. I started at seven. My grandfather got me playing, and it's been a long, fun, crazy road since then. So that, that's been really cool. Um, congratulations to Hall of Fame award, Fred Funk. Oh my God, like that's, I can't believe you're getting the award. Like, like you're here. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> He's in the same room as me. Pretty awesome. So I'm kind of starstruck. A little bit. Sorry. <laughs> um, our scholarship recipients. Are you guys not starstruck? Just a tiny bit. I'm kind of like, whoa. Um, and tonight's other award recipients. I mean, I just can't believe I'm in this room with all these people that just completely inspire me on a daily basis. So this is this is amazing, really cool, and, and thank you so much. I'm super thankful for the MAPGA staff. Um, you guys are the backbone of our organization, um, Kelly and John and all of you that I can't even begin to name, and you just, you're awesome. Uh, our awards committee for all your work, I know that you guys do this for no, no pay, it's tireless, and there's a lot of stuff that you read, like I know my thing was like five pages long. Um, so I, I know that, that you guys put in a ton of extra work, so thank you so much. Um, my peers. My peers, you are too numerous to mention. You're a lot of you are in the room tonight. You inspire me on a daily basis. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I pick your brains all the time, and you are why I'm here. So um, in my PGA professionals, we have the most cool organization in the world. So um, I'd like to thank my mentor Kevin Weeks, uh, Matthew Schulze. Bernie Najar, Chris George, Andy Bemis, other golf specialists at Junior Golf, what, such as uh, Nicole Weller and Kate Tepestra, who have completely inspired me in terms of the little guys. My tagline is I teach kids age two to 92. <laughs> and I don't kid around about that. I do teach, I started with age two. Uh, my grandparents, who are the ones who introduced me to the game, on both sides. I, I couldn't do this without them. My sister and my best friend, Dr. Lisa Rasti, um, as well as our little brother, uh, who is 12 years my junior. The two of them keep me very young. Uh, so I, I appreciate both of you. You guys are awesome. Uh, my mom, mom, Mita Rasti, you taught me how to work with kids. You are the one who taught me how to get down on the ground and and relate to children. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, you're awesome, and you're my hero. Um, my father, Dr. Don Rasteed, uh, you instilled a constant curiosity and dedication to lifelong learning, and it's it's paid off in spades and i hope that i only instill that in the kids that i teach as well um love you both um lastly my love muffin husband can't be here tonight because for those of you who know us my husband is the golf coach at william and mary and he is down in williamsburg right now uh teaching or he's got his women's tournament that starts tomorrow and so they're, they played their practice round today, and he is getting all everything together, making sure all the cats are herded. So uh, he can't be here tonight, but he is truly, other than my sister, my best friend. Um, he is my rock. We have crazy, crazy schedules this time of year. Sometimes we feel like we're ships passing in the night. We hand off the dog between, it, between us. Um, but he is, Jay Alba is like, he's, he's my jam. I love him to death. So. Um, but in all seriousness, junior golf is amazing. Um, I just 
kids are awesome. They're so fun. I spent the last week in a, a, uh, a grade school teaching kids how to play golf and just watching them learn and seeing how they react to, oh, this is the face and the face does this. And it's, it's super fun. So thank you so much for your recognition. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and everybody who has inspired me. Thank you. You guys don't have to worry about being starstruck. We're still trying to grasp 4.74 in astrophysics. <laughs> Horton Smith Award. Our winner has made contributions to educational content in our section, whether presenting on his own or bringing in other speakers. From Springfield, Golf and Country Club PGA Head Professional, Jeff Tremble. I'd like to wish everybody happy St. Patrick's Day and congratulate all the award winners, especially our Golf Professional of the Year, Rob McNamara, who we'll hear from later tonight. Can't wait for your speech. And our Hall of Fame inductee, Fred Funk. Additionally, to my friend Mark Russo for being recognized as Teacher of the Year as he was an outstanding resource on our Education Committee. Horton Smith Award is all about education, as Leon just, Leanne just mentioned. Uh, Lifelong learning. I feel like I've got to keep on learning for my life to catch up to our scholarship award recipients where they're at already. Uh, but looking back at the list of the past Horton Smith Award winners, it's certainly an impressive list that I'm truly honored to be associated with. Coach Bill Strasbaugh was a five time section Horton Smith Award winner. Three individuals who were key in my section involvement John Malinowski, Dean Hurst, and Kevin Taylor all won this award. Two gentlemen who were mentors and sounding boards for me, Tom Barry and Bob Dolan. And then our president, J.P. Lund, who uh, didn't have to make fun of my Patriots for the Super Bowl, but he's a Bills fan, so I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> when I started out as education chair, I set a goal to try to improve the educational opportunities for our MAPJ professionals through programs like MSR Mondays, and trying to create an outstanding slate of presenters at our teaching summit. This is a validation that our committee achieved our goal. And I hope to continue to be an inspiration for my staff to continue to learn, to stay involved, and better myself as a professional for both the benefits of my staff and the members at Springfield. This is an individual award, but obviously I wouldn't be here with the, without the influence of many others. And I have a few thank yous I'd like to go through. David Dorn for his mentorship and the opportunity at Woodmont Country Club. Our Mid-Atlantic PGA section staff led by John Gould, especially Kelly Lawson, who helped me tremendously as our liaison uh, when I was an education chair. The members, board, and staff at Springfield Golf and Country Club, including our soon-to-be outgoing general manager, Brian Maloney, and our incoming general manager, Basan Medawar, as well as my two PGA professionals, Tyler Bantle and Frank O'Connell. I'd like to thank Callaway Golf and my friend back there at table 16, Mary Leahy, who's my supplier of Callaway Kool-Aid. Hashtag Team Callaway, hashtag Rogue, hashtag This Ball is Different. I didn't have to pay her for that either. That's just uh, free advertising for Callaway. I'd like to thank my parents, Dennis and Mary Trimble, who introduced me to this game and have supported me. Uh, throughout pursuing this career and in every endeavor. And for my in-laws, Colleen Regan and Mike Fowler are here tonight for welcoming me into their big family with open arms. And finally, my family, my wife Sarah and our son Rory, as they put up with me being at work long hours and away from home so much, and I couldn't do it without your unconditional love. I sincerely thank you all for this honor, and I wish you an outstanding 2018 golf season. Thank you. anything about the Sabres beating the Bruins the last two times they played. <laughs> President's Award.